A new international report on climate change was released today, and the findings are alarming. It shows that all the climate change indicators set new record highs last year. And joining us here on set is our environmental editor, Valerie DeKemp. Hi, Valerie. Hi. So, Valerie, give us a sense of what's in this report. Well, uh Four climate change indicators broke new records, according to the World Meteorological Organization and their yearly report. Uh, we're looking at the concentration of greenhouse gas emissions in the atmosphere, sea level rise, uh, rise in temperatures, and ocean acidification. Um, and it doesn't come as a huge surprise, as we know that the last seven years have been the warmest on record. Uh, 2021 ranked as the hottest year ever recorded. So if we look at the rise in temperatures, we can see that it's all part of a long-term trend. We know that temperatures have increased by 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial uh, levels. And if we move on, if we look at the rise, sea level rise, uh, we can see that they have been pushed to new heights as well. Between 2013 and 2021, uh, sea levels uh, rose by 4.5 uh, millimeters every year. And if we compare that to that previous previous period of time between uh, 2002 and 1993 and 2002, we can see that uh, sea levels rose by only 2.1 millimeters per year. Greenhouse gas emissions, of course, are the culprits in all of this. Uh, we've also reached new highs in terms of uh, concentrations in the atmosphere, increasing by 150 percent, according to that report, uh, compared to pre-industrial levels. In other words, what does it mean? It means that the degradation of the environment is only getting worse. And we saw a reaction from Antonio Guterres just this morning, who described the report as a dismal litany of humanity's failure to tackle climate disruption. Uh, and all of this at a time when we are seeing uh, dramatic heat waves around the world. In India, for example, uh, temperatures have reached 50 degrees Celsius. Even here in France, we have seen, Monty, we are experiencing uh, temperatures above average as the spring has only just begun. So I think that uh, perhaps this report will offer yet another uh, reminder to world leaders uh, of the urgency to act, and especially here in France, perhaps as we are experiencing expecting a new government to be unveiled with a new prime minister, a new environment minister, excuse me. Yeah, we have the prime minister already. Um, so, Valerie, there's another worrying indicator separate from this report yeah. ab about deaths attributed to pollution. Yes. So one in six uh, deaths are caused by pollution. A total of nine million people died uh, prematurely in 2019 because of various uh, factors related to pollution. That's the conclusion of a report published by the Lancet Commission, a scientific journal uh, today. And let me show you perhaps a breakdown of the numbers of what we know from this report. Air pollution killed 6.7 million people, water pollution 1.4 million people, and chemical pollution, more specifically lead pollution, uh, kills 900,000 people every single year. And what we know is that pollution is a silent killer. It doesn't say pollution on the death certificates, uh, but we know that it causes heart disease, it causes cancer, uh, respiratory problems as well. Um, and you also need to keep in mind that the death toll is expected to actually be higher in reality as the numbers tend to vary. And What's interesting is that researchers, uh, the way that they're able to come up with this data is that they combine, they look at the uh, number of deaths by cause, and then they uh, cross-reference that with the likelihood of being exposed to pollution. It's the same way that scientists are able to say, uh, to determine the number of deaths caused by, uh, you know, smoking cigarettes, for example. Um, and. You know, earlier, just now, we were talking about climate change impacts. Um, and, you know, pollution deaths are not isolated. They're, you know, both closely intertwined. Uh, the overwhelming, a huge chunk of pollution, air pollution deaths are related to uh, coal-fired power plants, to steel mills, to trucks and cars on the roads. Uh, and so, 
both of them are determined by, you know, the fossil fuels that we're burning, the uh, greenhouse gas emissions that we're sending into the atmosphere. So it's becoming increasingly obvious what we need to do in order to tackle both uh, issues. And last thing that I want to say is that what stands out in the report and from the reactions by scientists is saying how the, you know, the, the health impacts of pollution are you know, grossly underreported and undermined in the way that we think about pollution. For example, malaria, HIV. Uh, now in this report, we say 900,000 people died from lead pollution every year. It's more than people who die from HIV every single year, and yet it's still uh, undermined and underreported uh, around the world. Yeah, tr well, troubling news all the way around. Okay. Valerie DeCamp, our environmental editor, thanks a lot. Thanks, Monty.